everyone, being a fine figure here, and I finally got my hands on this DC Multiverse uh, McFarlane Toys, the Riddler from the Arkham City uh, video game. And it's been eluding me for a while. At first, I wasn't going to get it, but then after a while, I was like, yeah, I'm going to get, I, I need to get this one. Uh, it just looks so good, and I've seen other people's uh, take on them, and, you know, it's actually not a bad looking figure, but then I couldn't find them, and then all of a sudden it became available again, so I finally got my hands on it at a really good price, cheap price too, so. Uh, and you know me, I love cheap prices. So anyway, uh, without further ado, as we do here on the channel, I am going to unbox this and I will be right back. <clears throat> All right, so I got the figure out of the packaging. And of course, we'll quickly go over the uh, accessories per se. Uh, typical McFarlane stand. It does come with the trading card or data file, as some will call it. That's a nice image there of the Arkham City uh, render there. And of course, a little bio there on the back, which I think we've seen it before on Edward Nigma. Enigma, get it? And of course, his little question mark cane. Nice detail there. I wish they would have done a little detail like the, that there. It actually would have been cool if they would have added that piece to the middle of it. Um, except we got this plain little uh, basic one. Almost like the one we got for the classic look, which as you'll see by now, you can see the background there that it's there. Now on to the figure. Again, this is an actually nice, this is an idea of the body uh, sculpt that I imagined the Riddler. I imagined the Riddler being, you know, weak and skinny and, you know, just a, uh, this version. Uh, I do like, but he's just a little too muscular for me. I mean, he just doesn't, I mean, he's like a can even, uh, you know, like a little sneaky skinny little evil runt you know that's what i'm used to so this is actually not too bad he's got a nice little suit let's move this up a little um everything here he's got the nice the hat and the glasses are all attached and glue onto the face uh, they're not removable he's got the little side eye uh, look to it which i uh, thought they would have stopped doing the side eye look but man this is very like really like he's really staring over there yeah, really. But it's got some, I mean, I don't know if you guys can see it, but the details on the eyes are actually pretty real, man. They're actually pretty good. Like, they really put some uh, time into those. And then the glasses, obviously, kind of, because the way they're glued, they look like they're bent in the face, but uh, from far away, you can't really tell. Oh, maybe you can actually move them a little. But it's got the nice little top little hat there. Nice detail. I wish they would have put something around the brim there. I give it a little color there, same color as a little, some of that purple up there. It's got the tie with a little question mark clip on it. It's got a roll up sleeves. It's got all question marks all over. I wish they would have put a little color on those question marks too. But the fact that they at least highlighted the main one is actually not too bad. Um, and then the jacket's got a little, oh, it's got the, they put a little detail instead of making it all hollow. That's actually pretty good. It's got that, uh, App crunch there. Oh, he's got some pretty good app crunch. Uh, uh, don't really get a lot of movement to the back, but that's actually not too bad. And of course, he's got really good movement to the front. So uh, the diaper is nice and small, not too big. So it's actually pretty good. And nice detail on his uh, pants. Put the little seam there. Wish they would have put some detail into the buckles. And standard boots. Oh, they put details on the boots. Instead of just having it around, that's actually pretty good. It's got the threads in the back, on the bottom of the shoe. That's not bad. And he's got that old uh, ankle ball joint there. But yeah, this is a pretty good figure. See, this is what I imagine uh, the Riddler to be, the kind of body, just basic, uh, skinny, no muscle. Just, you know, uh, he's a brain villain. You know, he uses his brain. Um, I do enjoy the classic look, as I said before, but, you know, I'm not, it's just doesn't, I mean, it's not an idea of the Riddler, and besides the fact that uh, messing with the gloves on this, I kind of got purple all over the figure, so I'm kind of pissed. <clears throat> and this was also the figure that uh, the package was delivered to the wrong house, and one of the neighbor's kids tried to uh, open up the box and try to take it, and then taped it up with scotch tape, which was funny as hell. So uh, going back to them and letting them know that one of my figures was missing was like, uh, it was priceless to see the look of the guy's face and know that uh, his kid stole my, uh, and they had to return it. Felt bad for the guy, but you know, he was honest enough to bring his kid back and, and return it. So anyway, 
Um, but yeah, there's uh, a little side story there. But anyway, this is my idea of the Riddler. I wish they would come up with a version of the Riddler skinny with this look. It would be cool. Uh, even in a John Kim body or something. He just looks too bulky for me. It's not an idea. Even in the, I mean, just mainly because I grew up with the Batman 66. So uh, the Riddler there. You know, he was just skinny and, you know, he was sneaky and he had a high-pitched voice and, you know. And then Jim Carrey's version was actually not bad. I mean, that's the idea of what Riddler should be. Um, the Riddler from the Batman, uh, the recently released Batman with uh, Pattinson, that's actually, uh, I like to take on it. I just didn't like the the look, his uh, costume stuff. They just, uh, they, they should have just... Um, if they didn't want to make it like classic comic book, like cheesy look, they should have uh, come up with a little bit something better. I didn't really, um, wasn't too crazy about that figure, so I never picked it up. I only picked up really the uh, Patterson out of that whole line anyway. So anyway, that is it for, for right now. I know I'm sure you guys already had this. This is a pretty old figure, so I just recently got my hands on it again. So anyway, as always, thank you guys for the support. Thank you for uh, tuning in. If you haven't uh, subscribed, please do. And as always, support each other, take care of each other, be a fine figure, and I will see you later.